Agree upon one Margaret Bowman, guilty as charged, so say we all, Rudolph V. Trimble, foreman. Ted Bundy sat there calmly, silently, as the guilty verdict was read. The jury had taken six hours to decide that the former law student was guilty of the strangulation murders of two Florida co-eds and guilty of the attempted murder of three other young women. Minutes before the verdict was returned, Bundy told ABC News in a telephone interview that he was prepared for the worst. Ted, are you prepared for a guilty verdict? Yes, I, I think so. I've, it's never happened to me like quite this way before. I've never been convicted of murder before, and I, 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 I hope and pray I won't be. But if it happens, then I, I just have to work with it. Afterwards, Bundy's mother said she would continue to stand by her son's side. It's wrong. We'll appeal it. it it's just... What else can I say? We, uh, the family, will be devastated by this, but we stick behind him because we know he's not guilty, as do all his friends. But the lawyer who handled Bundy's defense until the final days of the trial said he thought Bundy himself lost the case. He was guilty of poor judgment. He was guilty of allowing uh, his emotional inclinations uh, to override an effective defense in his case. The jury will now return on Saturday to make the recommendation as to whether Ted Bundy should be sent to the electric chair. Rebecca Chase, ABC News, Miami.